Hello everybody, welcome back to JTP. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing the state of Arizona. And is this state going to be the next California? Before we get started, uh, please like and subscribe. And yeah, so, I'm looking at the Arizona governor um, election, so we basically uh, have every state called. Uh, pretty disappointing for Republicans. Um, except Arizona, we have, or sorry, Alaska and Arizona. So Arizona, Hobbs margin went down. It's only a point. Um, we can go to New York Times and see what they say. So they updated it. Okay, so it's a point difference. Um, so uh, the rest of the vote is in Pima, Pinal, uh, Maricopa to um, pretty close. Um, if I can see where the rest of the votes are. Okay, but it's really horrible. I mean, Kerry Lake was expected to win big. Or big meaning like four, maybe like four, three. But she's right now losing. And we'll carry Katie Hobbs, a really weak candidate. So weak. Kerry Lake's a very good candidate. She's basically Trump, but she actually controls her mouth. I mean, she used to be a news anchor. Um, and that really helped her. I mean, Kerry Lake's, I mean, sorry, Katie Hobbs is a person who, um, if this will work, hold on, let me refresh, um, did not debate Kerry Lake, probably because she was afraid. Um, she stumbled on, if I can show it over here, um, da, 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 da. um, Okay, sadly I won't show here, but she would literally stumble um, when asked about the Latino community, and this was a softball question. So, uh, okay, so there was a question saying, uh, today, blah, 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 blah. what have you um, learned from the Latino community? A very softball question. Then she said, oh, that's a great question. Um, I don't know. It looks kind of how much um she said. She said, one. Um, okay, uh... Well, she says lots of ums and literally, okay, my sister-in-law, she's Latino, uh, practicing my Espanol, um, learning among our family, um, like literally, so is there one Pacific lesson you can share besides Espanol? I mean, it's crazy, she can't even say something, you know, if Carol Lake would said this, you know, they would put in the top line, CNN would still be talking about it now, and is anyone talking about it now? No. Um, and if Carrie Lake is losing the governor race to her, that's really uh, disappointing. Um, and even if you search up a career, like great candidate wouldn't pop up. But anyway, sorry. Um, and if you go to the governor's race in Arizona, absolutely terrifying. Mark Kelly is winning with six points. Rested votes in Mary, mainly Maricopa. And this was supposed to be a red wave year. And the state shifted more blue from 2020. This is really scary, honestly. I think Arizona is the next California, which is really blue. I mean, will it be as blue as California? Probably not. But it's really heading that direction. I mean, you know, Maricopa is turning into, like, I don't know. Um, okay, I don't want to really compare it to there. But still, this, I mean, Maricopa, Phoenix is starting to become... Something if I could say like Chicago in or or Atlanta in Atlanta suburbs in Georgia. So Arizona is going down a bad path. And if Carrie Lick isn't the governor of Arizona, Katie Hobbs is gonna bring the Californian way of life. And that's gonna really take a toll on Arizona. I mean, if Carrie Lick loses, Biden's winning this for sure. I guess the Sansas maybe and definitely Trump. Wisconsin, we got hope. Pennsylvania, it, it's shadowy, but we still got hope there. Georgia, no, it's gone. I mean, even Herschel Walker could even win there. I mean, Pennsylvania only went for Fetterman because of us. I mean, he didn't get the support. But either way, this country is going liberal. Um, this was supposed to be a red wave year. And if you ask me, I, I made a video of who to blame. You know, I'm going to say this. I'm going to blame the election on mailing votes. I mean, 
if if um I actually agree with Kamala Harris. She said when people vote, um, they use like a computer to scan the votes, and people can hack in it. That's one reason. Mail-in votes. So if Republicans aren't going to do anything with this, Democrats are going to keep winning. So that's just the way um, elections work nowadays. You know, um, now Georgia is going to go blue, and that will get 51 seats for Democrats. Absolutely horrible. So thank you so much for watching today's video. Kind of bad news, but um, just to give you all an update. And uh, yeah, um, I hope you thought this was insightful. And yeah, bye.